Your dad, that was your dad, Sydney. Right? He was in the hardware business. He had a shop, he had a store. They had a store, but it was really only for people from truck companies that would come in and order, you know, big stuff. And it was in New York or on Long Island? It was on Canal Street, I think. And Grandpa was down near the South Street Ferry, South Street Ferry, Water Street. You don't remember the name of the hardware company, do you? Franklin Howard Hardware Company. And do you remember the name of the tobacco company? Uh, Meyer and Mendelssohn. Meyer and Mendelssohn. That was Samuel's company, right? Yeah. M E N D E L S O H N. How do you remember all of this? It's part of my life. <laughs> I mean, I can't remember the name of the coffee shop around here. <laughs> Do you remember the address of the house you lived in when you, until you were eight? 29 Cedar Avenue, Beechhurst, Long Island. And you lived there from the time you were born until you were eight? No, I lived on Lexington Avenue. Uh, when I was born, uh, I lived on Le Lexington Avenue and 95th Street. And then you moved to 929 Cedar Avenue, be and be then you lived on Cedar Avenue. In you mean the Beechers? Yeah. Was that a vacation or that was your, where you that lived? That was our home. That was your home? Yeah. Until you were eight? Yeah. And then you a moved. nice, very nice home. We had a maid and a butler. I mean, we really knew how to live. And I got a present from the son of the president of the National Biscuit Company. And it was an emerald ring set in white gold. And my father said, call him and thank him. Call him. Call him and thank him. So I called him and I thanked him. And I, uh, sometime later, lost the ring in a dirty swimming pool in Pennsylvania. It slipped off my finger. But it was a square emerald in white gold. That was something for a child who was eight years old. Yeah. A present. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you imagine? So I, uh, I took my father's cigars and stuffed them in my pocket and took a, some kind of a tool of some kind and I was going to go in the woods and kill snakes. <laughs> So I got my Japanese friend, Fumi Tsutsuma, Fumi Tsutsumi, and another little friend, Jack Nutting, I think his name was, and we went into the woods to look for snakes under rocks. Oh yeah, I went to kindergarten there. Yeah. Went to kindergarten. And my father gave me a quarter every day. And the children would follow me because they knew I was going to go straight to the candy store, <laughs> which I did, mm -hmm. and I became very popular. I don't know if I had one piece of candy left, but I had a lot of friends. When my father left, I went back. We were living across the street in a, in a hotel for my grandpa. And I went to a private school on Madison Avenue in the kindergarten. And uh, my mother took me in, or somebody took me in. And the first thing the idiot teacher did was ask me to stand up so she could slide a shark's jaw over me. <laughs> and I stood there. I never forgot it. <laughs> that was a dumb thing for her to do. The first, the first day in school, mm -hmm. when you're already scared, when you're already scared and nervous, was I scared? Yeah. No, I wasn't scared about going to the school. I wasn't, I wasn't scared about anything, really. I, I took everything in stride, pretty much, which reminds me of my daughter, Petey. When she was eight, I said, what would you like to be when you grow up? I put this in the book. And she said, I just want to take everything in stride. Good answer. And for eight years old, that was a very mature answer. <laughs> Fantastic.
wonderful child.